Mr. Bryant. Well, you're just in time for dinner. You'll be happy to know that your mother's going to join us. That's good. good. How's Paige doing? Oh, she's doing fine. <laughs> she won't be joining us this evening. She has a date. What are you talking about? Oh, she's going out to a little Italian restaurant with her new bodyguard, Mr. Guthrie. Out. Are you crazy? You let her go out of this house with all those insane killers after no, her? Wait, wait a minute, Brian. There is no way on earth that we are going to keep Paige chained to the dungeon wall. Now, if she's going to go out somewhere, it might as well be with an armed guard. Well, you shouldn't have let her go. She shouldn't be going anywhere, armed guard or not, until the police catch these maniacs once and for all. Damn it! If anything happens to her, so help me, Dad. You're going to have me to deal with. Uh, here. Go in the back door. It'll be a lot safer. Yeah. Uh. Wait a minute, Brian. Now look, I didn't like the idea when I heard it first, but now I think it's the best thing to do. I'd like to know your logic. Well, it is very simple. Now, none of us know how long that this siege is going to last, and it's just plain foolish to believe that the police are going to round up these gang members as if they're sitting there waiting in a group for a noose to hang over their heads. Brian, they're probably scattered all over the country. I know that. I... I just hope Paige's testimony would... Her testimony concerns three members that she can clearly identify. Now, Paige herself admits that there are others that she can't describe. Right, Some people she hasn't even met. Suppose they caught one or two of these people. Suppose they made them talk. Do you really think they will? Now, they seem very fanatical to me. They were willing to risk their lives to get at Paige. Now, do you honestly think that they're going to betray each other? That could happen, Dad. Well, I hope it does. I hope they round up the whole gang of them. But in the meantime, Brian, we've got to assume that they won't. Well, not for a while, anyway. And during that time, Paige has got to be protected. That is exactly what I'm saying. Only my idea of protection is obviously different from yours. But, Brian, don't you understand that unless Paige agrees to be protected, it's not going to work? Now, Guthrie's absolutely right about that. Otherwise, we get a repeat performance of what happened the other night, and out she goes. Now, Brian, we have got to win her over to this. Win? You mean you want Steve Guthrie to start dating Paige, is that it? Oh, Brian, I didn't say that. For heaven's sake. Now, these two are going to be in each other's shadow for God knows how long. Now, don't you think it's a good idea if they got to know each other? No, not over candlelight dinners. Well, if that's the way it's got to go, then why not? Dad, has it ever occurred to you that you just may be stirring up a, a romantic situation here? Oh, God, now you sound like your mother. That's exactly what Nola said. Brian, believe me, there's a lot more to worry about than that. Sure. Well, I think I had the right to be consulted. Consulted? Why yes. the hell should you be? You weren't even here. You are outside doing your own thing, whatever that is. I'll tell you what it is, Dad. I was responding to your own request. My request? Yeah. That I stop hanging around the house, doing nothing, wasting time. That I start thinking about my future, about what I'm going to do with the rest of my life, and so on and so on. Well, go on, that doesn't fill me in very much. All right. I went to see some people. The Royden News Agency. I had a buddy in the Navy whose father runs the branch office here, and I went to see if there were any openings. What kind of service is this? Foreign. I thought they could use an ex-sailor, someone who's used to traveling. Does that mean if you take the job that you will be leaving Monticello? I'll be leaving the country. That's the nature of the job. Foreign correspondent, is that it? Well, they, they don't call it that anymore. It's, uh, actually, the job I applied for is a little less glorified. It's in ENG. ENG? What's that? <laughs> you still in the business, Dad? Stands for electronic news gathering. It's actually very new. <laughs> Just see me tooling around Europe or maybe Southeast Asia or the Middle East with a porta pack TV camera strapped to my back. <laughs> I don't know, Brian. It sounds like a good idea to me. I thought you'd say that. 
much as I hate to say it. I do think that you're better off somewhere else. Well, I'll tell you something, Dad. I would be out of this house now, tonight, if I had that job. But I'm not going anywhere until I'm sure Paige is safe. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, that's okay. I can handle it. No, it looks heavy. Nope. See, I uh, can be of some use around here. Oh, Santa, you big strong man. I see. You don't like this weaker sex stuff, huh? Well, let me tell you something. God might have given you chicks equal rights, but he did not give you equal muscles. That's why they give us judo lessons at the academy. <laughs> Would you like a demonstration? No, I don't want to hurt you. Oh. Hey, I know a lot about that self-defense stuff. I watch wrestling every night. Ooh. Are you all right? Cliff? What are you doing? What are you doing? Here. Okay? I'm all right. What's all that stuff for? I'm looking for three men. Arcady Jones, Davy Rogers, and Charles Nathaniel. You know, the three girls, the guys that uh, Paige Madison described. Yeah, I know. Two of us. Yeah. What do you think make, you'll find him in there for? Well, it doesn't hurt to look, does it? Don't you have a computer to do that sort of thing? We are running a computer check on them. We're getting the records from Washington, if there are any. Frankly, I don't think we're going to turn up with a thing. I think they're all newcomers. Well, what are you doing this for? Well, this is a student file of kids who were arrested on college campuses for, you know, rioting, demonstrating, things like that. I thought it might be interesting to take a look. Yeah, you're right. I remember Paige said it. The, she met these guys in college. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how you can tell them apart, though. They all got long hair, beards, and glassy eyeballs. Oh, I heard that Steve took that job guarding that body. He took the job? Yes. You know, you'll probably marry her. Well, that's always what happens, you know? Spoiled what a rich girl falls in love with big, strong policemen. Of course, that's after he roughs her up, you know, and straightens her out. <laughs> Tell me, did, did Steve ever try any of that caveman stuff on you? Cliff, why don't you go home? You're missing the wrestling reruns. Well, I was uh, looking for an attractive woman to take to dinner. You know any? Dinner. Oh, I haven't thought about dinner. Well, you should think of it, you know? You should think steak. A nice, juicy steak. You should think about a pat of butter rolling down over the sides. Your eyes are getting heavy. You should hey, think... Come on, babe. Shake a leg. We gotta get out of here. What's happening? I just got a call from Steve. He needs us. Calvin, what is it? Something happened at the Madison's? Not another murder attempt. No, I don't know. He didn't call from inside the house. He was outside. <laughs> this is a gag, right? Like lions and tigers in the streets oh, of Monticello? Would you shut up? What happened? Deborah, Where would was you it? just get your stuff together okay. and let's go? This is a gag, right? Hey, what is it? You got a button here, you press it, and whenever you need help, Calvin comes running. Would you stop being so ridiculous, Cliff? Wait, superior legal mind finds flaw, though. Since when are you still working with Steve? He's off the Look, board. Look, Cliff, you have yes, got your secret. own office. Why don't you go hang out there? Oh, silly girl. Hey, come on, let me play too, all right? If this has something to do with the Paige Madison case, you'd better tell me about it. I'm the guy the DA assigned to the case from the DA's office. Ah, uh, Deborah, come on. Hey, come on, you guys, let me play, all right? What you got? Guess you won't. 